peace and love african family peace love and sunlight this is ankeru from jam tours the africa family we're actually going out and the previous video they beat us up very bad <laughs> But guys, I really appreciate you guys and I really appreciate the, uh, the concern and the support and uh, you know what I mean, just you know what I mean, just to show that people out there care yeah. and you know, it's not that you do things because you're actually irresponsible and stuff family. It's just that this is just the community as you can see, you know, it's just a community where you're just like a street. It's just like your home There's is no there, you, so it was not a main road. So, but we do appreciate the, the actually the advice and the car seat. And, you know, I've been talking about getting a car seat for a very long time, but you've been saying that oh, you want to hold a mesh to build a barn and stuff. That's not what you said. Of course, I want to. So you don't want to come back to the front seat. To be sitting at, in front and a mesh is at the back alone. Yeah. I don't think I can. <laughs> Hold my baby guy, yeah, yeah family. Really so, my son. <laughs> yeah, guys, I really appreciate you guys. I really, you know, thanks for the love and the support. You know, the good thing with Hamesh is not stubborn um, at you when I'm holding him and stuff. So, yeah, maybe you have to speak up a little bit, sweetie, because oh, I'm saying, I want to get your mic. <laughs> oh, yeah, you want yeah, to get me a mic, or I speak louder. Yeah. <laughs> People, people, people. I'm saying Hamesh is not stubborn, so I'm okay with holding him. Mm. Mm. Yeah, family. So that was just the case. It was nothing like a, you know what I mean? But I really appreciate your, your concern and comments and stuff about it. And it was in my head to get one long time, but as you know, as you know, wifey says she really want to hold him in the back there and stuff, but... Yeah, guys, so I'm sure maybe in the future we will get one or as soon as he get bigger Then we'll definitely get one or something like that Yeah, but, when he um, grows a bit bigger, we can get yeah. it But for now, I think when a baby is young, just bond, build the bond with your mother, I'm not sure Yeah, yeah. I, you know, she have to breastfeed and all of that So yeah. it really doesn't yeah. like, yeah. you know what I mean, it would really make no sense so soon because you know she's breastfeeding so most of the time she have to breastfeed while we're driving so that's a, a disadvantage with the car seat family so and, and when he wants to sleep he'll cry of course yeah and you cannot calm him now without a breast yeah yeah yeah, know, yeah, so yeah 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 doesn't make sense yeah family so that is just it family and we just want to you know what i mean let you guys know that we really read all your comments and we, 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 we hear your cry, we hear your concern and we, you know what I mean? We actually will learn and, and grow. Um, but it's just to me, it was just really a big deal. It was not the main road as you can see. It's just in the community. It's just this and community. the cars are more than like five kilometer. You're supposed to drive in here anyways. And as you can see, family, there's a lot of, what you call these things? Oops or bumps? bumps. A lot of bumps. You really cannot drive fast in here, anyways. Highly likely, ninety-nine point nine 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 percent an accident will happen here. It doesn't. It doesn't really add up to where to how things and then, know, happen inside. And then, in these gated communities, you'll see a, a it's called what like caution at the gate. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, say yeah, you yeah, should yeah. Respect that children have to play and stuff. So children play on their sides. Yeah, yeah. So a car moves as slow as like it's not moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it's just what it is, guy. But we really appreciate your concern and, and I appreciate your And as soon as we got at the gate, they can see you give me the baby so that now we can hit the road. Yeah, hit the main like road, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, guys. So we just wanna actually uh, share that uh, that with you guys to let you guys know that we, we actually we appreciate you and uh, we like your comments so comment some more comment 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 and like and like and like and share and share and share because this is how we actually get motivated to do more videos and to show you more of kenya and we, what we do and how we do it so you can also learn and stuff for the family so that's how we do it guys as i know guys today we're in a, like uh african uh attire african cloth african fashion African clothes, are we matching clothes? Yeah. So 
Oh, you like the African clothes? Huh? Oh, you like the African wear? I came to appreciate them when I met you. Wow, why? You know, here we, we just do. Um, you met me with one. I, I only had one African cloth and I had just bought it because I was going to uh, my friend's traditional wedding. Uh -huh. And here it's only on traditional weddings that you see people putting on uh, African attire clothes. Okay, like right okay. now, should somebody see us, they might be like, hey, you forgot for a Rurashio. Oh, uh -huh. Rurashio is traditional wedding in my language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, so, okay. So that's it. So I came to appreciate them when I met you and you were like, you can get a fashionable one and all that. So. Yeah, as you know guys, I like everything that has to do with Africa. And I feel like you have to eat what you grow and grow what you eat and wear what you, you know what I mean, wear what you wear, wear what's in your country. If it was for me alone, I'm wearing all African clothing because I feel like, you know what I mean, you should just, you know what I mean, that's how you keep your culture alive and well. The more you dabble and dabble in someone else's culture, the more that everything just water down. The kids come and do worse than you and it just get worse and worse. That's just what it is, family. You have to preserve the culture and preserve, you know what I mean, your lifestyle and the way you do things. Because that's how it is, guys. Or else everything is going to be one. And sooner or later, there will be no culture. Yeah, family. So this is uh, uh, Anke Ru from Jam Tours Africa. Any last words? Any last words? My last words, my last words, my last words. Peace and love from Kenya. Yeah. We love all our subscribers. Keep subscribing. And keep supporting guys, you know what I mean? And you know you know, all of this, you know what I mean? It's just it's just I just you just you learn so much. And even if you're just doing YouTube for fun or you're just doing it for somewhere, you know, you learn so much and we just want to continue doing this and show you guys around. I'll let you know what time it is and if you're looking to come to Kenya and you want to connect we can connect you and show you around and you know give you a few tips and tricks and you know what I mean so you actually you you know your stay can be a better because you have been here for a while and there's a lot to um to learn guys so this is Anke Roo from Jam Tours Africa I'm out